Hey guys, welcome back. So, I'm going to attempt something I've never tried before. I haven't seen it done anywhere before. Um, so, this is a first for me and for you. If it works, great. If it doesn't, well, I don't know what to say. I'll just tear the wall down and start over. But, um, what I did is I took one of these little tiny skeletons that I have and I cut his body off. Okay? After I got his body off, I covered him in Mod Podge. Then I cut his little face out, put this all on here, covered this in Mod Podge, tried to bend his arms with the, um, the torch. And if you haven't figured out how to do that to make your skeletons poseable, um, they're not glued together. They literally are bent. So um, there's a tutorial on how to do that. Watch that if you need to see how to do that. So I bent his arms the way I wanted it, put the Mod Podge on it, cut his face out. Originally I had it covered. I didn't like it when I had it covered. It just didn't give enough detail. So I decided not to do that. So this is pretty stiff. You could probably do this same technique with starch. I'm not sure if it would last once we start painting it. But it's not too stiff that you can't move it, but it is stiff. I am going to try to make him look like he's coming out of the wall. Whether or not this works or not, we'll have to see. Okay, so I've got the hot glue ready. I need to kind of guesstimate where I'm going to stick him. I'm going to assume we think like right there is probably okay. I guess we'll find out. Let me take and figure out where I stuck my pencil. Hmm. 20 pencils in this house and none to be found. X marks the spot. Okay, now I got my hot glue gun. Hot glue is going to roll. And he may end up taking and uh, melting this dude's body. So we're going to try and put it on a little bit more than his body. We'll see how that works out. Let it cool off a little bit before I go trying to apply him to the wall. Again, if this doesn't work out, that's okay. But I'm working with limited space here. I think. Let me turn this around. Maybe make my life a little easier. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab up some of that hot glue there that I just put there. I'm going to hold him there until it somewhat cools. They actually sell something like this in a Halloween store, which is where I actually got the idea from. It was like a Halloween decoration. And for those of you who don't celebrate Halloween or know what it is, it's actually a ho holiday where um, kids in America go out and go trick-or-treating. Is that the true meaning of Halloween? No. But for some reason, we think it's okay to tell our children not to talk to strangers, but hey, you can go knock on their door once a year and you can get candy. For free and talk to all the strangers you want don't ask me <laughs> why we do it i have no idea i did it with my kids as well so i'm not like bashing anybody who does go trick-or-treating but i just don't understand why we do that it's just a tradition that we do okay so that's got a cool all right while that's cooling i've put hot glue at the top end and i'm working this up to make it look like it's pulling into the wall a little bit. All right, let him cool down a second there and then we'll have to attach him over here.
So now he's kind of attached there. I'm going to take this X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut it. For now, to give myself a little bit more to work with, right? This one I'm going to go up, down, and then back like that so it's kind of jagged. Do you want to take and get some of this attached? And you can have it to where it's like if you want to pinch it to have it look like it's got like creases in it so it's not even with the wall, you can certainly do that as well. All right, now here's the edge. That even and look if you ever want to make cobwebs just get yourself some hot glue because apparently it looks like cobwebs you see this it's all these stragglies that I keep getting such a pain in the neck but hey part of the hobby Now I'm going to lightly slice into this. I'm going to try and create a separate layer here. So I want this arm coming out a little bit more by itself. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm winging this. So if you've ever done this and you've got a better idea or know a way to make this work a little better, let me know. Because I'm all for ideas when it comes to stuff that's new. I don't want to see that right there so I'm going to kind of cut a little piece and put it up in there to hide that where I cut it although you probably don't really need to because to be completely honest with you it's uh all rough looking anyway I'm gonna do the same thing here
Look, I don't even have cobwebs in here and all this make it look like I do. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Hopefully you can still see this. I'm running out of room in this house to move. So it's kind of hard to show you and not be in the way of the camera at the same time while working. Okay. All right, I don't know if you can see this or not, and I'm really trying not to get burnt with this glue gun. But I'm putting glue on that side piece, and I'm just pressing it down the same as I did this. In fact, I'm gonna pause you for a second so I can turn this dollhouse and I can get in there, and then that way you're not just looking at my head. Okay, so I pretty much have it glued, but then I went ahead and cut this shape out here, and I'm gonna glue it on his arm or her arm, whichever. Just give it as the appearance as it's hanging down like that. And then right here at the neck, I wanna glue that in a little bit. I think I pretty much have it all in there. I need to glue this though. It looks like it's come undone. So the Mod Podge I would say is a temporary hold for this type of project. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, add a couple more little fringes, because I just think the fringes make it look more cool. I don't know. You tell me your opinion. Personally, I, uh, I think it gives it a different effect. This is pretty hot, so I'm just going to use this to put it up on there. All right. Now, to make this look a little bit more realistic, we need to do something with that wallpaper, right? Let's see what we can do. So I just sliced it and now I'm peeling it. Alright, so 
So it's not going to look real if we don't age it a little bit. thing is clogged. All right, so now we're just going to let that run because that's what a normal aged wall would do, but I'm gonna blot off the drippiness a little bit. All right, and now the papers will curl naturally. Of course, I do need to get some of that on the other side of it, so it does look like. Now, this one may not because it has hot glue on it, but you get the idea. And then I'm going to cut some of this down here. I'm not even going to get all this up off the ground because I want that to just kind of be there. That's what we have so far. We can turn his head a little bit, maybe. Should have probably heated him up a bit. So I don't like how this is showing right here. I wanna have that up underneath of there. Now it just has the effect of black mold a little bit. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this here and hold it so it curls because it's got hot glue on it and it doesn't want to curl with that one little piece from where we glued it. Hopefully that'll help. I might have to add some more. Okay. That's what he looks like. Now the question is, do we add hair or do we leave him like that? Um, let's see what hair might look like. I got too much hair. I'm 
gonna be like one strangle length, you think? Let's see. Stuck to the scissors instead. It may not be sticking because it's still wet. But that's okay because then it gives me an idea to see if I'm going to have hair there or not. Maybe a little bit of hair just sticking out of there and then we can do a little bit more on the other side and then put some cloth back over top of that. Now, I'm just putting a little bit of glue along the edge to kind of stiffen it where I want it to stay. And I'm going to tell you, this hair, I can't find hair anywhere where it's straight. It's always curly. I don't know where everybody gets their straight hair from, but I will tell you, Dollar Tree had some Halloween headbands. And guess what? That's where I got my hair pretty long it works and it was only a buck can't beat that all right so for the head I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the arms I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it I'm probably cutting more than I need, but I'd rather have more than not enough. And I am by no means a sculpting artist, so you guys are going to get this the way it turns out, or I will rip it down and <laughs> dry over if it looks stupid. Let's see. Enough, kinda. Think so. Let's just see what happens here. I think it hides the face a little too much, so we're going to trim some of that back. And the great thing about this is, is that you can manipulate it any way you want. Need that one long. Okay. 
Now we need to age that, like the rest of it. I think I'm probably the messiest person ever today, but that's okay. All right, so here is the thing. This is what it looks like so far. Got some mold on the ceiling to match the rest of the house. And he looks like he's coming out the wall. I think I need to figure a way to make his head bend though, because I like to have him looking at the door. And I can't heat him up anymore because I've already got him there. Maybe he'll stay. I don't know. We'll see. I've already got him glued to the wall with fabric. Not sure if I'll do anything else yet. Um, subscribe. Leave a question, suggestion, or comment below what you think of my little scary dude coming out of the wall. And if you think he needs anything else or if you have any ideas. I was thinking about putting some plank boards in there, but not entirely sure if I want to do that yet. I have to age the rest of this room as well because the rest of the room is just too bright. I'll do the rest of the room kind of like I did the rest of the floors and all up here. Bust at the window. I don't know if you can see that. Did the mold on the ceiling, the busted window on the outside. Lots and lots of very um, old housing. This bed I'm going to destroy. turn that bed into like a haunted house looking bed. I broke up the railing and everything. I've got to age this old furniture that someone gave me and uh, busted the railing here. This here is the nursery. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing with this yet. Um, however, I do know that I'm not going to do too much in here because I kind of want it to be creepy. And you have an old abandoned house and the only thing that's nice in there is the nursery. So I'm not sure what I'm doing in here yet. Leave your thoughts below because I do want some ideas on that one. right leave a question suggestion or comment below and um follow our facebook page lots and lots of photos under there and also on my website there is a calendar with upcoming posts and events so check that out it's going to be under i believe classes and um, updates but click the bell to get notified leave a question suggestion or comment below and i will see you in the next video have a wonderful wonderful day